Good evening, this is Bruce. Um, I'm in the process of doing one of the weekend projects. Uh, this is a uh, bush for a part from a pump that came in yesterday and needs an urgent turnaround. And so, so far I've machined, machined the bush down to size in ID to suit the um, seal and OD which will be um, taken to the mill where I'm boring out the um, the damaged internal diameter of the of the part. So bear with me and we'll swing across. I'm just about to part this off and take it over to the mill. So um, just bear with me while we go around the workshop um, and head head over to the mill area and I'll set this up. Um, I'll, I'll set this up and uh, show you uh, uh, what I'm up to about and we'll talk a little bit about uh, the automatic boring bars um, arrange or the uh, boring bar arrangement that I'm using at the moment. So over here on the mill uh, we have the part that had a flogged out um, diameter here so that's where the bush is going to go so we're going to have to keep carry on machining this until we get it to the pressing uh, diameter of, uh, of that bush that I've just made. Um, so we'll swing over here to the table and this is a new uh, part that uh, is the correct diameter and, and this is the mechanical seal that has to seal into that other part and that just slips in there. Uh, the o-ring of the o-ring of course will um, afterwards seal that once that goes back on into the o-ring groove so this is okay this is a slip fit um, whereas uh, what we had before was a large gap from it being rusted and flogged out so we'll swing back over here and I'll put the the camera on the tripod um, and I'll show you a couple of issues a couple of items that um, that are of interest with this boring procedure some of you will be aware of it others maybe not um, this is a uh, a boring head that will bore up to uh, 150 mil six inches depending on which way you put the cutter in um, now with these when you set these up um, you set up to the diameter and then you've got two options for expanding either using the large thread through this um, by turning with this unit or you use the mic micrometer type side uh, in there <coughs> and that's uh, also the same the same key now there's one thing to remember this is an automatic at the moment it's a set on manual um, it has a little locking screw here this little baby locking screw and it's extremely important to release this every time you adjust the boring bar right now I have to uh, adjust the boring bar by one turn so I'll make sure that's released and then I'm turning it through zero back to zero again that's the amount of cut I'm doing this is stainless steel by the way and then I'll lock that it's important to remember that because you can damage the gear these small gears inside if you try and wind this against the lock. Um, well now I'll just connect that back into gear. Uh, I'm expanding that. I'm running at about 200 uh, RPM. Uh, also to be remembered with boring bars that they're, all, they're nearly always um, out, of, um, out of balance so you can't run them at great, at great speeds. And I'm using the, the automatic feed. I'm feeding it here at um, uh, whatever I've preset that feed and I've set the knockout um, I've, uh, I've set the knockout to automatically come, uh, release when, um, when that comes to the end of the cut so I'll just raise this up a bit more so you can see so I've set the other thing I do is I follow not, not not by whole, just by loosely having my hand around the around the, the drive uh, handle, um, just to be able to catch it so that it doesn't fly back 
and, and bash up, the quill doesn't fly back. So when it, when this does release, the lock releases out, then um, then it, it wants to go straight back against the spring. So I'll just do that one cut and you'll see how that goes. And we're running on just about 200. So I'll bring that down. Back it off a fraction and engage the feet, the auto feet. I like to use this black material, it's quite good. I could be more aggressive with the cut, but I'm quite happy with this for a Saturday night um, adventure. Um, the, the part is bolted through the centre, through the eye, bolted down with one bolt straight onto the table. No other, no other holding arrangement, and that's quite sufficient for this job. And another reason why I've only got, I'm only giving it a low feed. Now as we're coming towards the end of the cut, uh, the quill stop, the quill automatic stop will normally touch, press down, release back here, release that off, and the drive will stop. And that's the point where I'll come in here and I'll hold my hand up just to stop the feeder from flying back. And I'll release it back off job done for that cut. Um, so yes I need to progress this tonight and then some more tomorrow uh, to get to a point where I press it in and I can then send it off uh, to the client.